Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, we're gonna see how good this grill's garage best of show pace wax. Put some clarity on this gold Honda Accord paint. Acro 3.5. This is the gold one here. And we're gonna see how much clarity can we put on the paint since I've been working on this paint for a while. Alright. So let's get started. Here we go. Let's spread it up. They're just trying to get some clarity. Some parts of the paint need a little touch up, like right there. That's easy. Just touch that up. Some gold paint. You can match this gold in pretty good. No big deal about gold. You can go to advanced auto parts or auto zone somewhere and get some of that car, that gold paint. Kind of touch that right in. Get one kind of match the color of your car. I'm trying to add clarity on some parts so I can see how much uh, touching up I can do actually on this vehicle and make it look good. Alright. Now this wax is ideal. It's definitely ideal for fast jobs. You know I would say. Alright, so let's go ahead on. Kind of rub it in here. Got a little bit more on this applicator, a little bit more wax. Okay, this store retail about twenty-five dollars on Amazon. Y'all familiar with Amazon? You know, get you some. <sighs> All right, and this is Carnuba, so you know Carnuba wax typically, typically is for shining gloss. That's because. Because carnauba wax has like oils in here. That's really what makes the paint pop. The oils that the carnauba wax has in here. It's protect. They give you about four months of protection. So basically, it came right, pretty close right on through the winter. Then we already mid October. November, December, January, came about February, March, you know, something like that. That's most of the winter. You get to March, be almost time for spring then. Almost springtime again. All right. So as you can see, I'm trying to spread it in pretty evenly. The rims look good up here back there in the back. I was trying out one rim. It looks good on this car. Back on rim set it off, really. It looks good. Alright, so uh go ahead and buff off. Just clean my fiber cloth here. Okay, we'll buff off when we start at first. Yeah, but I allow a little bit more drying time. Then the weather is cool. It's like 40 degrees here. So it's kind of cold here today. It's like 40 here in Carolina. So we're already getting a taste of cold weather here already. I told y'all it get cold in Carolina at times. Yeah, it's already done. People don't start using the heat. <laughs> Oh, you can see the shine coming in here. <laughs> oh, man, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's because you need this wax. And I tell you guys, you need wax like this because this is what makes your paint shine. That carnauba, man. Now y'all be seeing. I told y'all why you need this wax. Because. Because this is what makes that paint pop. Look at this shine, man. I don't think it's been a hard shine up here on this car in years. <laughs> <laughs> That's because y'all need this type of wax. Look at there. Man, I'm jealous of my own car. <laughs> Man, y'all see that gloss though? I'm jealous of my own car. Yeah. 
That gold kicking butt. See the difference from this door to the back door? See the back door? Like it been painted there. Look at there. See that difference? <laughs> it's just deeper, darker reflection, see? The whole side, it just look like it's been painted compared to that junk back there. So y'all see it. <laughs> I ain't got I rest my case. Now, y'all see why you need this wax? Because, because this type of wax is what makes your car paint job pop. Whether y'all believe it or not, you can put this on white paints, black paints, gray paints, silver paints, blue paints, or whatever. This is why you need this type of wax, man. If you want your stuff to pop. You want yellow like on the Jeep track car over there. You want it to pop. Which I don't recall trying it over there. But well, I'm going to try it on a yellow Jeep. Y'all see up under the shed over there. Hide them back. We're going to try it on that. And um, and get it right. So yeah, man. It looks good on this gold paint. Stop playing with it. Dang. I don't expect for it to come out this much, so I'm gonna do the whole car, except for the parts of the car that need paint. I might can bring out, I know a part back there, the quarter pound need paint, cause I shot paint on it. But uh, if I can get some paint to match in, it's still good. You no, know, still good. But I still can bring out most of this car, just take my time to work on it. I can bring this damn paint out. You know, just gotta take a little time. Oh, 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 I can bring it out now. <laughs> Even I had to put my daggone machine on it. I can bring it out now. That ain't no daggone problem. Them rims look good on it, too. Stop playing, man. I might hook this mud all the way up and finish putting the rims up there. I already got the wing on the back. Just paint it. That chain look good. Look different. Cause you ain't, ain't nobody really got no Hondas like this now too much. I'd rather go back in the modern no about just to have something different, you know. Just to have something different. Almost better off to go back in the damn model. Hook it up, put backup cameras and every damn thing in it. Hook it up, you know. Oh yeah, you put backup cameras on it, you know. Upgrade the interior. You know what I'm saying you can modernize your own car. With upgrade the interior, backup cameras, upgraded paint, rims. Shit, you hook it up like a damn new one though, but. Depends on how much money you want to spend in it, you know. Oh, ain't no limit. See, you can get them uh, right now. I don't want to hear that shit. You can get it right now. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. All right, y'all, hit that subscribe, man. That motherfucker look good. I'm out of here. Peace.